we all have different definitions of success. But whatever it is, you don't get there by living a normal cookie cutter lifestyle. You have to be an outlier. And Malcolm Gladwell's book, Outliers, has three specific points that are relevant to those who are on their entrepreneurial journey. So let's dive in. Every Monday, this video series will explore a book relating to startups, entrepreneurship, or venture capital, giving you a holistic view of the culture of building businesses. With your host, Cedric Bolog. Number one, there's no such a thing as self-made. Now you're probably thinking of Jeff Bezos or Bill Gates, but even those people have been shaped by outside forces and circumstances beyond their control. Even something as basic as going to school contributed to your success as an entrepreneur, and your current standing is a culmination of the hard work put in by your parents, your teachers, your coaches, and even your friends. The point of this statement is to understand that you should always be humble. Many forces work together to put you in your position, so no matter how successful you get, you have to remember where it all began and be grateful for it. Number two, clock in your 10,000 hours. Gladwell says that to become an expert in anything, you have to devote a minimum of 10,000 hours to that activity. Everyone, from the Beatles to Bill Gates, put in their 10,000 hours to get where they are today. That doesn't mean you need to have done your specific job for 10,000 hours if you want to start your own tech startup. You don't need 10,000 hours of experience as business owner, but you do need the experience working in tech. Understand how product management works, how founders interact with their teams, how products are improved and new ones are pitched. Learn all aspects of the job and clock in your 10,000 hours before you decide you want to start something on your own, because all that experience will come in handy when you're running your own startup. Number three, learn the different types of intelligence. Practical and academic intelligence are both equally important as an entrepreneur, and one is not a substitute for the other. In the book, Gladwell mentions several examples of people who are amazingly intelligent but not necessarily successful in their careers, mainly because they aren't able to apply academic knowledge in practical situations. Knowing how to apply what you have learned to real life, being resourceful, learning to engage others, and knowing how to tap into a network of people who can assist is the foundation of practical intelligence. So. Truth to be told, scoring 100 on your exam won't be as impressive if you aren't able to apply what you learned to get ahead in the real world. And of course, having a high level of practical intelligence not only provides an advantage in a work environment, but also on a personal level. There are many more valuable lessons in the book, and I suggest you read it because it opens up a whole new perspective on life and the opportunities available to you. With the right focus, success becomes less elusive and more inevitable. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified every time we upload a new video. Our Startup Lit episodes come out every Monday and you might also want to check out the Startup Incubator and the Tech Deep Dive series too. Thank you so much for watching.